Now official 400 Kenyan policemen will fly to Haiti on Tuesday. Kenya's president, William Ruto, held a ceremony this Monday. He handed over a Kenyan flag to the group. It's a tradition in Kenya when policemen or soldiers are sent abroad. And then he held a prayer for them. Uh, these policemen will lead a multinational uh, mission in Haiti to fight gang violence in the country. It's been approved by the United Nations Security Council and it's financed by several other countries including the United States and France. Listen to Kenya's president, William Ruto. He explains why it's important for Kenya to lead this mission. As a nation, our commitment to fundamental values knows no borders. And we are called upon to extend the reach of peace as part of our moral, pan-African, multilateral, and humanitarian obligation as a people and as a nation. This mission is one of the most urgent, important, and historic in the history of global solidarity. For months, Kenya's president has been pushing to organize this deployment. But a small opposition party, the Third Way Alliance uh, Kenya, has been filing lawsuits to uh, stop him. Uh, its leader, a lawyer called uh, Ekuru Aukot, uh, says that the deployment is unconstitutional. Several human rights organizations also uh, said that they are skeptical about the deployment. They say that uh, policemen are misbehaving in Kenya. They are afraid of uh, the consequences of their deployment in Haiti. But it's important to act as fast as possible, said William Ruto. Since the beginning of the year, uh, thousands of civilians have been either uh, killed, injured or kidnapped uh, by the gangs in Haiti.